Welcome back to the Dragon's Lair, everybody. My name is Wade, and this is my show, Playtest, where I play games, <clears throat> and you get to watch. So, we're going to play some more Sins of a Solar Empire. I'm going to try a different map. This is Face Off. It's got only one more planet. <clears throat> um, I want to be <clears throat> the Vasari Loyalists. And I want to face the, ooh, not the TEC, <clears throat> the, let's do the Advent Rebels, okay, <clears throat> so then, Normal Fortifier, we got attacked quite a bit last time on Normal Fortifier, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's go. So, the Vasari are the aliens, and I think they're pretty cool. Um, they are definitely all about, like, kill and murder and subjugate. <clears throat> Alright. So, let's get into it. Okay. <clears throat> I like that. I don't have 80 billion ways in or out. Um, I'm a little bit rusty still, so I need what? Any research station, okay. So we're going to do weapons. And I'm going to increase the speed of the game to two. So you can queue this stuff ahead of time. So, like, <clears throat> I'm tagging that right there. <clears throat> and it'll start as soon as the platform is built. Isn't that so cool? It's just so pretty. It's a very pretty game. Ooh, lost it. What? I don't know where I went. I went off into space somewhere. Weird. I was lost in space. That was crazy. <clears throat> I'm big about the... Repair bays. <clears throat> Watch my TEC loyalist video and you'll see. I'm also big about capital ships. <clears throat> we lack the money. And the crystal. We'll get the crystal here in a second. We'll get the money here in a second. <clears throat> but I usually lead with two destroyers. Just need that darn crystal. Boom. All right. We shall win again. Time is fleeting. Look how cool this is. So pretty. So cool. I love the three sixty views. Okay, what do we, what's our options here? <clears throat> Greatly increase the ship's weapon, fire, and shield regeneration rate. That sounds great. Disable weapons on all hostile strike craft within range. Has a chance to increase ability cooldowns and deplete antimatter when the ship's energy weapons hit enemy ships. Aha. Well, we're going to do this one for sure. And when we get my second uh, Of course, there's a couple things that I know that you don't know yet. <clears throat> but all, all things will be revealed then. So let's start investigating. we got to come back to fight pirates here in a second. Well, that's a 
Health Planet. Phase jump initiated. So once again, we're going to control group one of them. <clears throat> Overlap them. And then we'll just start building a defensive wall <clears throat> of turrets here that we're eventually going to build together. I need orders. Skirmisher Navigator. So I need the mitigator. Yep, establish new outposts. Structure complete. And we're playing at times two speed. Right there for our beachhead. On my way. I'm gonna send you back. Structure complete. And we're gonna go through. <clears throat> Ooh, there's two crystal there. We might we might have some okay amounts of crystal on this one. Last map we had a lot of metal. A lot of metal. Planet lockdown complete. Okay. Begin jump sequence. Begin jump sequence. I received a left phase space. There's an enemy ship right there. Good work scaring them off, fellas. Your plans. <clears throat> I think that's about as far as I want to go right there. Oh, yeah, all my, almost all my logistical slots are full. <clears throat> Reconnaissance radio for the pirate raid is working. Structure <clears throat> complete. It shall be done. I think the pirates usually... I think the pirates usually hit home. Surprise for you. Good idea. Structure complete. Oh, a bunch of their ships showed up. Alright, and 
that's where the pirates did show up. <clears throat> okay, good. Not that it's good that the pirates showed up, but... That's good there. Planet development finished. You are some bad mamma jammas. I like that the animations are different for all the ships and all the different races. And you seem to be taking a pound and there you go. know that we're going to win there. Mitigators. I guess I forgot that the mitigators learned the ability to do that. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna start making star bases. Good idea. <clears throat> because you're kind of the furthest away, kind of in the most danger. gonna get the first one now you're kind of landlocked between us which is good Need some more mitigators. <clears throat> I am all about um it's yours. I am all about star bases and capital class ship. <clears throat> now see this? The star base moves. <clears throat> so these aliens, the starbase actually moves around. It's so cool. Begin jump sequence. Our ships have left for ease. <clears throat> so we need some upgrades here. We need a better economy. Our economy kind of... I don't want to say our economy blows, but we're definitely not making bank. Which is why I'm going to pump up to three times speed just to get the resources flowing. OK, 
Okay, with that, I feel that our <clears throat> planet is more secure there. <clears throat> okay, so this star is kind of a big deal. It's where everything... Oh, that's an enemy carrier. It's okay, we're going to my home world. I'll just <clears throat> follow him there. Oh, they destroyed one of the mitigators. Probably going to destroy the other mitigator. Yep. <clears throat> that's okay. We're going to move it back down to times two speed because that's quite a bit. All right. Give me one mitigator. This is going to level up soon, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Next kill should do it. That was the sound. <clears throat> You're gonna build me a star base right there. You get a star base, and you get a star base. I think we're going to do disruptive strikes. I did not <clears throat> take note of when I started filming this episode. So if the time on this episode is all wonky, I am sorry. Time back up. Oh, that was times four. I just want more money. Want more money quicker. Let's see. What trouble we can get into with Empire. Ugh, we don't even have any Empire. <clears throat> Man. Takes money to make money. Well, that's weird. My total income is one point nine <clears throat> on both on both. -a. Max population increases. Yeah, we need we need some economy up in this biz. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, all that really did was give us better structure constraints. Oh, that didn't do exactly what I wanted it to. But that's not the point. <clears throat> Twelve point three. Then when this goes through, let's see what we're at. They ain't even spending money on bounty, I mean. Don't waste my time. That ain't nothing. Having a challenge. We haven't heard them... Jump sequence. <clears throat> we haven't heard them build a titan. I wish you to let be his face. I will be his leopard face. That's okay, my... Starbase should be able to handle pirates now. Don't rush me. Begin jump sequence. Begin jump sequence. <clears throat> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. I see eight planets. There's eleven. Well, and if this is a mirror, that's their capital world. If this is a mirror. Let's take a look at how well this works. Yeah, they build more fabricators. You build more fabricators, like, naturally. The game just gives you more fabricators. Get deep in there. <clears throat> The closer you get to an enemy, <clears throat> uh, the more attacks you can get against them, like when they're fleeing and such. Man, it's all like asteroids. Why is it all asteroids? That's obnoxious. So it looks like their fleet showed up. Because that is a carrier. Okay, so they have a capital ship. It's a carrier. It's a level two. What am I looking like? <clears throat> I'm pretty okay. That's okay. <clears throat> so we're going to make weapons a little bit better. How close is he? He's not close at all. So. <clears throat> Good stalemate. I'm going to back.
back away. But when I come back, my weapons are going to be better. And I've got a super secret plan. Super secret plan. Until then, oh, they followed me, which is okay because the star base is there. <clears throat> Go stand next to the star base. The star base will actually mop up quite a bit of this. I am going to research the hangar bays because there will be leftover stragglers of strike craft from this combat, which I won. They probably fled. you need fighter squadron <clears throat> okay we're gonna wait till he gets back up to full We're going to double down on squadrons. So when we come back at it, we will have better weapons. Reconnaissance reveals that the pirate wave is going to be a great That's the loss of the gravity well. <clears throat> Not worry about any of that. Ooh, that's two away, which is I like it and I want it. But get in the middle of it. I know I said I'd send him back at full, but <clears throat> not what I'm doing. Time to go. I'll do what I must. <clears throat> This might be a little problematic Destination locked in. for my plan. Where do you send us? Good idea. <clears throat> and now while they are fighting, I'm going to build a star base. <laughs> I got their capital ship. Hostile forces are siege in our planet. <clears throat> yeah, and they're not dumb. They're attacking it, but. Engage the enemy. 
Oh, I guess that's another. That's a that's a level four capital ship of theirs. <clears throat> well, it's gonna be a little dicey on this one. Man, it feels like it's taken forever to <clears throat> construct. What are those? Yep, drone hosts. <clears throat> well, as soon as he's ready to go, this is going to pop. Eh, my capital ships are pretty good. Uh. <clears throat> hey, you guys are like, I guess I told you to attack those strike craft, sure, but. They might actually hurt my starbase. I heard the level up sound. My strength is yours. Don't waste my time. That's okay. If they destroy my starbase, I'll just build another one. <clears throat> nope, I think I got him now. Yep. So when I took out those drone hosts, they didn't have the ability to keep on rebuilding their strike craft. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> now we're just going to mop up this gravity well. Well, and while we were doing all that, <clears throat> we got a lot of money. So our, our focus and our attention was there. I'm going to go through and do some planet upgrades. Just because the planets need them. Put one more there. <clears throat> I need the trade ports is what I really need. All right, so. I need an Imperial Lab. Right there. Nope. Offload exports grants access to the trade port. <clears throat> so I need one more actually beyond that. Planet development finished. Reconnaissance radios in the pirate way. Because I'll build a trade port there. Trade port there. Trade port there. And I'll build a trade port here because we're, we're ready to take this one over. Your plans. As you command. Now back at home, because I got a lot of money. <clears throat> I'm going to make that an even beefier Starbase. And we're just Temple of Harmony. That's not good because that means that they are working on um, influence. <clears throat> the 
the advent are good at influence. <laughs> More metal is required. Now look at all the crazy guns I got going on here. Well, good news. <clears throat> We're going to build all these extractors. <clears throat> and another Empire Lab. Oh, you guys want some more, huh? That's interesting. I forget what that does. Oh, <clears throat> they're building a star base. Ha ha, and we destroyed it. Good work. access to the media hub. We're just going to sit on this for a minute. Yep, you're what I want. <clears throat> um, increase credit income through trade traffic between planets. And now I'll start queuing them, because you can queue them up beforehand, and when they're available, then it will start. What's your deal? Okay, you're going to have a trade court. Another structure already fills this space. Yeah, you keep on saying it. I'm not buying it. There it goes. Okay, we're going to have four trade posts. <clears throat> so we're at 13.7 right now when the last trade post is done being built. We'll take a look. Oh, that's going quick. I think that was the other ones. Or 
15. 15.2, 15.5. Well, and that's a second too, so. 15.8. All right. <clears throat> that part of our economy is now booming. All your logistics slots are full. You have room for one more. <clears throat> and I know what it's going to be. A media hub. Reconnaissance radio is where that pirate brain is from. Regimental thought. <clears throat> so this is all about the suppression, oppression, mind control, all the terrible things that these aliens do. But this is actually really important because the Advent are really good at, uh... No logistical slots available. 20 out of 24. There we go. <clears throat> They're really good at spreading their psychic influence. <clears throat> so you kind of need... You kind of need to uh, oppose it. Is our constructor. All right, we control four planets. Credits are at 18.9. We started out at 14.7, and then we built the four trade posts. So that's that's quite a big, bit of a difference. <clears throat> Pirate. It's not worried about pirates. I do have really kind of a whack defense in comparison to what I usually put up. Just showing you guys my starbase wrecking these pirates. Because it's pretty and fun to watch. I wish starbases gained experience. They don't. See all my trade ships lined up? Coming into my trade port. Nineteen point six, still going up. Oh, and look at that, the yellow line is now my influence. Oh yeah, it's starting to spread. It hit that star. Now it's starting to spread off that star. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Good stuff, good stuff. <clears throat> Let's see what this world is. I just want to see what it is. If that's their capital, <clears throat> then I'm going to, like, super fortify this. I haven't gone two yet. Of 
It is their capital. I don't really feel like they're much of a fortifier. <clears throat> there, we've done that. Can only go a little ways more. You would have thought I would have had more research into... Weapons by now. I actually am going to let them build that. Don't waste my time. Because I want the XP off of it. <clears throat> oh, and I'll be able to crush it easily. I should get the XP for it. Let my battleships handle it. Oh, I know my uh, star base is going to get involved here in a second. It's crazy that they keep on trying to build them in my gravity wells, but they're not building them in their own gravity wells. Which is interesting. Oh, here comes the star base. Probably will destroy it before it's finished construction. Let's see. Don't waste my time. Experience points, 345. Oh, maybe I didn't gain experience for that. Well, we know next time, if they ever do it again. <clears throat> well, we definitely just cost them a bunch of money. So I want you to live there. Don't waste my time. <clears throat> so now we need to conquer these other worlds. The route you're going to take there is about to be stupid, so I recall you to the home world. Yeah, no one cares about pirates. Here come the pirates, the dirty, dirty pirates. Oh yeah, they always want a piece of the Trade Center. Which makes sense, because they're pirates.
Titan Foundry right there. Pirate World. We know we don't want to have anything to do with Pirate World. Bowler World. These are trade ships from those jerks. It shall be done. Those alien jerks are not allowed to have trade. <coughs> Look at all these trade ships. Mm. Look at that. <clears throat> um, influence. It's like a brown line or a red line. Look at their influence. <clears throat> we got to do something about that. Our ships have left for you in space. Temple of Communion. Yeah, and a trade center. Yeah. <clears throat> we got to do something about this. Oh, and it's an actual planet. Well, that planet now belongs to me. And I'm going to build a bunch of cool stuff there. Where will we settle? <clears throat> and I fully expect them to bring reinforcements to protect their world. So I fully expect a fight. <clears throat> lasers. We're attacking the planet with lasers. Pew, pew, pew. Pew. What just showed up? <clears throat> yep. All right. Now we got a good old-fashioned fight. Two capital class ships versus two capital class ships. They got more strike craft than I do. <clears throat> so they have influence going out in all the directions off of this star. <clears throat> Mine is holding strong, which is good. I don't know if we're stalemated there. I think he's gaining on me, actually. <clears throat> Reconnaissance reveals that a pirate range <clears throat> some labs yeah don't you worry pooks boom
the drone hosts that make so many um, strike craft. <clears throat> Quietly, patiently. turning? <clears throat> Is he tucking tail? See that star base in the background? <laughs> Like in lots of other games, you can rally point stuff. So I'm going to rally point whatever gets made to show up there. <clears throat> oh, where did the pirates go to this time? Where did the pirates go to this time? Oh, the pirates are being confusing? All right, the pirates are here. To where do you send us? Yeah, giant pirate fleet versus mitigator <clears throat> doesn't work. See, they are winning influence. <clears throat> so they've got something, like at their home world or over here somewhere, they've got something that is spreading the influence of their dirty, dirty mutant alien culture. Even though technically I am the dirty mutants. <clears throat> well, and that should help because their temple of commune has been destroyed. And this planet's hanging in there. Of course, I probably don't have great anti-planet weapons. percent allegiance but we're gonna fix that as soon as we control this planet you're gonna attack that trade port Hurt their economy. I command it. <clears throat> See, now my economy is actually pretty okay. Oh man, and ice planets have a lot of crystal. So I'm about to gain a ton of crystal in my economy. I wonder what he's moving away from. The planet is ours for the taking. I'll do what I must. All right, go in there and get it. Need our 
Arctic Occupation Research Empire. So now that we own an Arctic, or we're going to own an Arctic planet, might as well do all these colony upgrades, which I'm not even reading. This is the rate of population growth on your planet. Yeah, why not? Resources from newly destroyed capital ships and planet structures are automatically collected. So evidently, I gain resources from destroying enemy ships. Okay. <clears throat> now we own this planet. <clears throat> and I'm going to put two Imperial Labs here, a trade port, <clears throat> and, and that. <coughs> because <clears throat> well you're not really slipping let's see let's see if that adjusts the enemies <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> all right So we're not slipping. It's been 80 for a while. Structure complete. <clears throat> All right, this is where we're going to have to call it. Um, I'm having a great time. Showing you uh, the Vasari aliens. Uh, they're so cool. <clears throat> and uh, I really appreciate you guys checking this out. Uh, I hope you uh, play Sins of a Solar, Sins of a Solar Empire. Uh, if that is something that interests you. Um, go ahead and check out our other shows uh, here on the Dragon's Lyre. I play a lot of different games. Talk about Warhammer 40k. Do all kinds of stuff. But anyways, I want to say thank you for spending your time here with us at the Dragon's Lyre.